peace peace family how you doing welcome to my channel um i have a new video that i'm about to post and i wanted to come here to give you a synopsis i guess of what it's going to be about and to say thank you to my new subscribers who have started to follow me. I really appreciate it. A lot of encouragement and um, a lot of um, uh, encouragement to keep going with my hair growth and also telling me how beautiful my wigs are. I really appreciate it. And a lot of people that are now following, you also have wigs and that's what I'm here for. I'm here to build a community and be in community with you <clears throat> as I journey and in in this life and just other things that i have going on also but right now we're going to be talking about the wigs so this has been um about a week and a half of um you'll see on the video i'm going to be t uh, cutting my hair and then i also crocheted it a little bit to um, get the pieces that were kind of just sticking out and as i was re-watching the video i realized that and I kind of like how the 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 pieces that are just going rogue, if you want to call it that, are just like, you know, they're just doing what they do. And this is what our hair does. So I kind of ended up liking the look. And if you follow me, you watch me, I always say that um, I go back and forth between being neat and not being neat. So just and just letting my hair free form and do what it it does at this point i feel like it probably won't be super um just like crazy um like hair just all over the place because i have um done maintenance to my hair to where um i'm putting it in uh, in a formation so but who knows i'm really excited about this journey um this is my fourth set of locking my hair so i've had two sets of locks and i had like a half a set of locks on the top of my head so um this journey definitely is different for me um i'm really excited about it i am not impatient about it i'm loving what what it's doing i was watching um the wig lady on um this one guy's page yesterday and she was saying that um you have to have patience you know, and um, she was talking about our roots and how our roots, you know, it's important to be strong. And um, she also talked about like the way that you form, like train your hair to go is the way that it's going to go, which made me think about my hair sticking up because if I was thinking eventually they're going to fall. But maybe, I mean, will they fall as they get heavier? I'm guessing that they will end up falling, but they'll still probably just stick up versus if I was to start training them to lay down. Um, but this is about a week and a half of me not, like since I've um, crocheted the pieces again, like I said, into the wick and also cutting my hair on the sides. And um, the video that you're gonna watch is gonna be all about me cutting my hair and um in that process of me crocheting the pieces back in thank you for watching come back come back okay like subscribe comment please share any tips anything that i can offer you i'm, I'm down to offer that as well and peace Hey y'all. All right, so here I am. I am preparing to cut my sides. So I had decided that I, well, I was trying to let my um, sides grow out, but um, somebody asked me one day, was I gonna let it, uh, was I gonna cut it and I, I just put it in my mind and I ended up cutting the side. So here I am, I'm preparing to do that again. And I'm also about to um, 
crochet my hair a little bit just to get these pieces um, in line and a little more together and but now looking at this I kind of like how it looked and, and that's how it goes for me it's like oh I'm ready to look neat again and not just let my hair grow how it grows and but it looks it looks pretty good so um, yeah so here I am about to plug up the clippers and I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward from here all right I got the clippers ready to go I'm so excited to cut my hair uh, because I look so much neater and I and I just feel like I can easily let myself just you know not be groomed as far as like getting my eyebrows done and um, keeping my hair neat but um, I know that when I do it's like it just makes me feel good and I feel like I look nice so yeah gonna move forward some alright so now I'm done cutting my hair cutting the sides um, I had to put it up in these um, ties so that I could make sure I was getting all of the um, new growth on the sides so I'm taking these out and I'm going to crochet these pieces that are not in um, any type of wick not in any of the wick in a wick I'm gonna crochet these pieces together um, but like I said I'm looking at it now and I'm like it's kind of fresh you know what I'm saying? It's doing its own thing. And I started my wigs when I, kind of close to when I dyed my hair. So all of the black you see is new growth. And I wigged my hair in January, January 14th. All right, so I have a three prong um, crochet situation and what I'm doing now is just filling what um, what pieces need to go into what is separating um, so I won't start to do the wrong one So I decided to put the tie on it to um, kind of just help me so I don't have to hold the base because I'm not going to crochet my whole wick. I'm just going to do the pieces, just try to get the pieces back in. So actually, I'm just going to take it out. I just wanted to get that, get that in there. I'm struggling right here. All right, I'm gonna just move forward. All right, so I've um, crocheted, it looks like at least one so far, those pieces. Well, I'm still working on this this one here and all I wanted to do is just put the sticky the hairs that were sticking out into a wick and you can see here's just an in and out method and I'm not touching the base of my wick because I don't want to go down that far I want mine to be really fat um, and in my mind this is how I achieve the look that I want so I'm going to continue to do this um, for each wick 
and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I'm done with the crocheting and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, I got all the pieces in. It's a small piece in the back that I noticed after like hours afterwards. There's like a little bitty tail. You will see it, but I, I completely didn't see it. And there it is. <laughs> so that is the final. And from here, I'm going to try out some different ways to put my hair in a tie. Because I don't always wear it out and I'm so thirsty to be able to actually put it up in something. So I just kind of like to see how, how much I can grab. And since I did that crocheting, I wasn't able to grab as much as I usually um, am able to. It's like my hair wasn't stretching. So I just played around, tried a few things. And yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Peace.